situations happen to everybody. Learning how to understand what they are and learning how to deal with them appropriately is crucial to long-term weight loss success and consistency. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what normal fluctuations actually look like, uh, what causes them, and then how to actually deal with them so that you don't get off track. So first of all, let's talk about what's normal because I have been tracking my weight now for about four years and I weigh every single day and I've kept track of that information in a spreadsheet. Um, so I had a lot of data that I could look at and I wanted to share that with you so that you can see at least one person's experience with fluctuations. And, and since I've lost 80 pounds at this point, you can see that just because fluctuations happen, it doesn't mean that you're off track. So first of all, let's talk about single day fluctuations. The most that mine has ever fluctuated is 5.6 pounds uh, within a 24 hour period. And on average, my weight tends to fluctuate by one pound just within a single day. And within a given week, my weight can fluctuate from the, from the lowest single day weight to the highest single day weight. It can fluctuate by as much as eight pounds. On average though, my weight fluctuates by 3.07 pounds. So as you can see, weight fluctuates, even, even if you're being very consistent, it really does fluctuate normally over time. See, the thing is, we really wish that weight loss was just a straight line down like that, but that's just not how it happens for the vast majority of people. Most people experience this heartbeat thing that just goes up and down and up and down and up and down, and over time, the trend is down. And this is why I love the seven day average because it, even though it doesn't get rid of all the fluctuations, because even when you're only looking at your seven day average, you'll occasionally have little fluctuations up and then it'll go down, but it kind of helps even it out a little bit. So basically you have to learn how to handle these because they do happen. Well, and first let's back up a little bit and talk about why do they actually happen? Well, in my experience, sometimes there's no real good reason. It can just happen. It can be like, I didn't really eat any salty food or anything. It just kind of goes up a little bit. Uh, and I think a lot of this is, a, uh, is just because of hormonal fluctuations, uh, sometimes like just stress. Um, and then just the food that you eat can react differently with your body and make you gain a little bit of water weight or a lot of water weight. Like for example, really salty foods, really sugary foods uh, can tend to make you just kind of hold on to some water weight. And then over you know the course of a couple of days, it, everything goes back to normal. For me, things like Chinese food and Mexican food, wow, I can gain several pounds overnight. And then within a couple of days, that weight is gone. It's not true weight gain is the point. And even just drinking drinking more water or drinking less water than you normally would can make your weight go up or down. The thing to remember is it's not permanent. Just focus on your trend. But that's a lot easier said than done because I know when you wake up in the morning and you go and you see like a high number that you weren't expecting, it can be what feels like devastating, right? And the thing that I've had to learn is to how to deal with those fluctuations because I eat all the food. And so there are times where I'm gonna eat something really, really salty and really, really sugary. And I know the next day the weight's gonna be up, but I've learned how to recognize that and just learn how to deal with it. The temptation is gonna be there. When you have a, a high day, the temptation will be to go and obsess over what you did the day before and how you may have screwed up and, oh, maybe I should never eat Chinese food again. That might be running through your head or, oh, I can never have carbs again. But don't do that. Stick to your plan. Whatever your plan is, that's what you should stick with because what our tendency is, is to say, well, the easy thing isn't working, so I'm gonna make it harder and harder and harder. And then when you start making it too hard on yourself, you're really not gonna stick to your plan over the long term. The thing that I had to learn how to do was to emotionally detach from the scale. And again, easier said than done, but it can happen with practice and with the right mindset. It's important for me to remember the scale is a tool. It has no emotional control over me. I get to choose my emotions when I step on that scale. One thing that has really helped me is to think of myself like a scientist. So when I hop on the scale, I, you know, I think, okay, I'm just going to get on the scale. But then when I look down at that number, I look at it like I'm a scientist. Okay. The, the subject, you know, weighs 141 this morning. And then I just log that number into my Fitbit app when I can kind of like give myself that kind of separation, it actually really helps because I give myself permission to not be emotional about it. First of all, this is why I love 
weighing every single day. It gives you seven times as much data as if you just weighed once a week. And the the important thing is, is to really start to learn your own fluctuations, your own trends and see, because you may even fluctuate more than I do. You may fluctuate 10 pounds in a given week or even more. The thing to learn is what is normal for you. And this will keep you sane in the weight loss journey. You can look at it over time and say, oh, this is normal for my weight to be up or down by, you know, like within a three pound variance or a five pound or even more. Really, I think it's empowering to weigh every day and to really see where your numbers are moving and again it takes time it takes really a few months of data can really start to show you more about how your weight is trending over time so hang in there if you have a couple of high days don't let it derail you just focus on the big picture and focus on consistency so I'm curious to know if you weigh and if you're tracking your weight, uh, how much does your weight fluctuate within a given week or overnight? What's the most you've ever had it go up or down? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below.